about, what I'm basically speaking about is evil people, people that just want to be evil. And to be evil to children is one of the worst, oh my goodness. That's what, the, that's what the Lord talks about. He talks about the fatherless. You hear that a lot in the Bible. The fatherless and the orphan. Do everybody understand that? He tell people to be a father to the fatherless. So God is, um, that's, that's that, that, that sin right there. To the poor, to the fatherless, to the people that can't help themselves. Yes, please. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Uh, what, what if your father used to be in the truth, but he left the truth, and he's not really in your life? But every time, like, you try to um, have a like uh, a father-son relationship, you try to talk to him. He like he curses at you. He's like very unruly, like with his tongue. You know, he speaks against the church, and like, how how, how do you deal with that? Is it right to say I like you know? I'd rather not talk to him. Well, you can talk about things that ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with the church. If this is a father that's in your life, um, you know, and been in your life, and just because he left the truth don't not make him your father anymore. Oh. Um, so you can have a relationship outside of trying to talk about things that has to do with, uh, with the truth and, and, and show respect to that. Just trying to cut him off is not permissible. Saying, I don't want to speak to you no more is not permissible. You, you got to keep trying. That's your father. If he cut you off, then that's a whole other story. Come on. All right, anybody else? I'm going to tell you something. This is in Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's a curse on a nation that children, fathers leave children and, and, you know, so that's why I wanted to take some time on this because, like, I, I know it's a touchy situation and I, and I don't want the people in, in, in here that is angry with parents that haven't been around to feel condemned um, and, and, you know, for other people's wickedness. So what I'm mainly focusing on is the wickedness of, of, of people that have done what they have done because it was wicked and there's no excuse for it. Do everybody understand that? Next question. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Um, what if you have a father that's around, but he's not there emotionally as a parent? What what can they do? What can the son do to change things? Um, well, you you know you got to try to build that relationship. You know, everybody can't be the way um, we want them to be. You got some people for some reasons they just um, they're not uh involved um, the way we want them to be involved. And that's their personality. Um, but if they're there, that means they're there for a reason. So you just got to try to keep working on that relationship and building that relationship and not judge um, because they're not dealing with you the way that you would want them to deal with you as far as emotions is concerned. The fact that they're there um, says a lot. So you just keep working on that relationship and, and keep trying to build it. The water. How you on the ball? <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, sir. Holy Pops, we have a question upstairs. Yes, sir. Sir, Shabbat Shalom to the God and to the Comforter. Shabbat Shalom. Um, I have a general question. Uh, if your grandparent marries someone of another nation, do you have to in any way acknowledge them? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I acknowledge people of other nations now, you know. You know, a nation in the store, you don't go in there, you damn Arab bastard. You, know, you still be courteous and polite. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we are on planet Earth. <laughs> We're going to encounter nations. And the scripture says that our conversation is supposed to be honest among the Gentiles. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah, don't go up in there filled with, uh, uh, actually, you can't even be filled with hate. You know, yeah. Nobody could be filled with hate right now. 
You understand what I'm saying? Because the way hate works is, you know how it works. Somebody has to directly do something to you. And it brings emotions, and it depends on how bad it is, it heightens those emotions. It depends on how, depends on how disrespectful it, it heightens those emotions. That's why in Ezekiel chapter 25, the Lord said that he's going to put his spirit on Israel. So they can deal with Edom. <laughs> because the, the stuff Edom deserves is not even in us like it's supposed to be. I'm going to tell you straight. But you're not supposed to be walking around consumed. You don't understand with, with, with negativity in you. you just, you're just a person that's, that's rude and disrespectful. You can be respectful to everybody. The scripture says if it's possible, be at peace with all men. Um, why, you, why cause problems for no reason? Why do you want problems in your life? Let God do what he's going to do. Until then, you, you can believe what you want to believe, um, but you can still be respectful. So if that's your grandmother's uh, uh, husband, yeah, respect him. You know, you ain't got to sit down and eat his Rashi do meat or whatever you got, but you respect him. You know, go in there, how you doing, what's up? You know, his brother looking like, yo, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got that? I got certain nations that I, that, I, that I deal with as far as certain business is concerned that you wouldn't even think they, and they know what I preach, but you wouldn't even think that they know what I preach. You know, they'd be all smiles and how you doing? And, all, you know, and I, I'm the same way. Y'all be looking at me strange, like, we doing smile at that day. <laughs> I don't trim who I am. I represent who I am. But at the same time, you know, we are on planet Earth and, you know, we're supposed to respect each other. That's just the bottom line. Do everybody understand that? If you want respect, you should respect people. Do everybody understand that? That's just the bottom line. You ain't got to respect. You ain't got to respect what they believe in. You ain't got to respect their God, but you, can, you should respect them as a human being. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with holding the door for somebody coming. You don't have to let the, go, the door go if it's an Edomite. You know <laughs> some people mad as hell. They want some hardcore stuff over here. But, yeah. but that's not how Christ dealt. Okay, go in the Bible and show me where that's at. That's not how, dude, listen, God gave Solomon wisdom. How did Solomon deal with the nations that he was in, that, that, was that, that uh, he was dealing with? They said, when, when people came and seen Solomon, it said, they said it looked like his servants was the king. He didn't keep them wrapped up like Tarzan. <laughs> now, when we get them back in captivity, it's a, it's a whole different story. They, they got to pay for some things. Right now, we in captivity, okay? So stop it. Do what the scripture says. Be at peace. Be at peace. If it's possible, be at peace with everybody. If it's possible. Do everybody understand that? If it's possible. You know, just be respectful. That's all that's talking about. All right, next question, please. That don't mean be friends. I just want <laughs> friendship of the world is in enmity with God. Do everybody understand that? That don't mean go to the office party, the Christmas office party, okay? The apostle said be nice. That's talking about hi or bye, a polite smile, okay? All right, next, who's next? Any other questions? Shabbat Shalom to the Holy Apostle. Shabbat Shalom, sis. Um, if you had a parent who, as a child, was very uh, negative to you and a sibling, and as, they, as you got older, they apologized for it and claimed to have made amends but continue to act that way, should you continue to look for that parent to be part of your life and as your children's life? Well, I don't get what you're saying because... I don't get whether they were part of your life being negative or whether they were not part of your life. Yeah, being they were negative. there and they were there. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, no. No. You gotta. You gotta keep the law. 
You know what I mean? Even they were there and they might have been not have been the model parent, the best parent in the world, but they were there. Um, yeah. You know, um, the type of negativity that we're talking about, maybe we need to discuss that in the council because, you know, it, it, you know, that's broad. Um, but if they were there, like I said, that's, that says something. Um, so, you know, even though you may not have appreciated the way things was done, um, it could have been a lot going on in their life that you, 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 is that, that you don't know about. So it depends on what kind of negativity we're talking about. But in general, the question, the answer would be if they were in your life, um, yes, yeah, you, you keep the law and you, and you give them their respect. All right. Juana, sir. How you on the ball? That's no different. I just want to let everybody know that that's no different than having a husband that's negative, than having a wife that's negative, and nothing happened to split you up like fornication. Um, you got to stay with that person, and you got to deal with the negativity. That's no different than having children that's negative, okay? What are you going to do? Throw your children over the bridge? What are you going to do? You got to deal with those children. Everybody understand that? So it's the same thing. Some people just have some issues that got to be dealt with in families, okay? But you got to deal with it. But it, again, it depends on the level of negativity, which is something that you, you, know, you got to come to counsel with about if it's um, something that's really bothering you. Uh, any other questions? Yes, sir, Holy Apostle, we have another question upstairs. Yes, please. Shalom to the Holy Apostle. Shalom, sir. Yes, sir. Um, if a parent left because of uh, the relationship with the other parent, uh, do you still have to be considerate for um, the other parent that was there for the absent parent? Like, if you wanted to look for the absent parent, would you, would you still be considerate for the parent that okay, was I'm there? Okay, I'm confused. I'm confused already. Yes, can, you just, can you start again? Yes, sir. Um, if a parent left because of the relationship with the with another parent, which a, which a, with a spouse, would you still have to be considerate for the, the parent that was there's feelings when you go look for the other parent that's absent? Um, when you say the parent that was there, I, I, we, I, what what I mentioned was a, a step parent that stepped in, um, not the parent that was there, but the step parent that stepped in. Um, but sometimes the parent that's there, I'm glad you brought that up, they feel a way too. Um, but I'm gonna hit you with something, there's no excuse, okay? Um, even if it's for the other, it's something that's called parental rights. Both parents have it. And there's no excuse for the other parent to just leave, okay? Unless you, when you talk to them, they have, uh, you know, what's beyond their control. Um, so you can do it. But would it be, would, it, would you have to consider the people's feelings that was there? Of course you do. Of course you do. You always consider their feelings. Even if the parent that was there, you know, have a problem with it, you, you know, you don't know that this is something I just want to do. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, it's not anything against you. But you always consider the people that were there and their feelings. Okay? Con, yes, sir. Is that all? Yes, sir. All right. Any other questions? Our nation is so jacked up. <laughs> I'm telling you. And the more they're coming, you're going to see that all these issues got to be, be worked out. But it's all going to be uh, 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 um, on the found, built off the foundation of forgiveness. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to have parents coming in and that didn't, uh, wasn't dealing with their children. You're going to have children coming in. People are going to be re reunited in the truth. You understand what I'm saying? But... Um, <laughs> Those, those curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28, they took full effect on our, we are so jacked up. <laughs> and the only thing that's going to mend us back the way we're supposed to be is, is, is the word of God. Do everybody got that? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, that's why I, I daydream. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, I daydream about the time when we were a nation of people. I mean, it was nothing more beautiful than that. It was nothing more beautiful than the way we dealt with one another. It, everything was, I mean, anything about our day was absolutely wonderful. From our households to when we stepped out of our households and seen our neighbors, 
to the beauty of our land, to the way that the, the priest was always sacrificing to God and, and, you know, to the weddings that was always going on. It was so magnificent. But the, 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 the family structure in the house, it was, it was incredible. You felt, you, felt, you felt good being home. You couldn't wait to get home. The love that was in there. Then the love of neighbors. I mean, this, it, it, it's, it's almost indescribable because it's not on earth right now. It's in no nation. It's, there's no example of how we were when we were a nation of people in our land worshiping our God. And this is what we got to get back to. What, what we doing now, this what's happening now, not what we doing, but what we trying to redo. We trying to bring this all back. But what's happening now on the planet Earth, this, this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. 